I've been married 30 years and I know every single thing about this person. I wish somebody could say something like that about me. Hey all my book peeps, it's Courtney. Hope you're having a good day. Taking a break from the heat outside and decided to come in here and talk to you a bit about this book. Now I recently read An American Marriage by Tara Jones why i have not read this book i have no idea it's been on my list for quite a while and i'm so happy i finally decided to read it um, it came out in 2018 now it reminds me a lot of this book by james baldwin if bill street could talk and this came out in 1974. same premise of you have an innocent black man that is sent to jail for rape of a woman right Utterly heartbreaking, horrible scenario, but you know, there are a lot of innocent people in jail, unfortunately. But anyway, in this book, you have Roy and you have Celestial. They've been married for a year and a half. And when they're visiting family, Roy is mistaken for someone else and sent to jail for rape of a woman, right? And he's sent it to 12 years. However, he gets out in five, read the book, figure out all that stuff, but he gets out in five and looking to put the pieces of his life back together. That is definitely easier said than done. You know how they say weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. People fall down, okay? But this book was just utterly beautifully beautifully written it was written from three different perspectives such lyrical prose i almost just wanted to kind of bathe in it i found myself writing a lot of the quotes down so tiara jones definitely has some talent that's for sure um, now to me this book feels like an old school book now it doesn't say a timeline but it is more modern times but i could see this book being in like the 20s just it just had that old school vibe to it for me i did enjoy this book i just thought it was just very heartfelt it was real language like an, i can imagine these conversations i just thought it was just like one of those perfect well-rounded books the only thing i would say is that i wouldn't mind hearing more from the perspective of the person that accused roy of rape just to kind of get in her head a little bit but the story i understand was not about her it was about roy and celestial and I think this book adequately captured their story very, very well, all the way starting from their love story all the way into the end. And I loved all the different themes that the book talked about. Like it touched on almost anything and like you can think of in life, like real love. Like I'm talking not like puppy dog infatuation, but what real love is. Love that withstands the test of time. Like I've been married 30 years and I know every single thing about this person and I'm still there and I'm loving them. Like that type of thing. The stuff that you don't get on apps these days makes me want to go back in time it also talked about biasness in the criminal justice system because you know those exist out there and here roy talks about how prisons are almost like a fraternity for black men and he even says some sort of quote that talks about how there's just as many men in black men in prison as there is in morehouse college and that makes you go hmm he also talks about how prison strips the humanity out of people. So you go in with your humanity, but with what you have to go through to survive in that environment, it almost takes it away. And people don't think of you as being humans. You're just an inmate. And when you add color and race into that, it just further defines you as this criminal and not as a human being. And that's really, really sad. It also talks about how you lose so much once you get into the prison system. It's not just your relationship and your family that you're not present for, but it's also the ability to have kids for some people that's permanent. Um, also the career that you worked your butt off for. You go to college, get this degree, work in this career, and then all of a sudden it's just gone. Not to mention it mars your reputation. Not to mention life goes on. Everybody else is doing their thing, you know, and here, you know, Celestial starts a business, starts to make a name for herself. And it's like, where's her spouse? You got this dude in jail. 
and you know that's two different lives and it's hard for people to understand that from both perspectives and then you have those women that you know and i commend women i really do the women that go up to see their man in prison each and every week you know it's almost like their lives are on hold in order to support this person that is in jail and that is not easy for everyone and not everybody can do that but it also makes me question because I have heard of many women that have started pen pal relationships and even married someone that's in jail. And I'm like, is the world so messed up that women seek guys in jail for a companionship because they're not able to find someone outside in the real world? That's really something to think about, men. You're free, but a woman feels much more captivated with someone that is not. I don't know if that says something about the women, about the state of dating in this world. Now this book brought up a topic that really kind of irritated me, but also one that I have heard discussed quite a bit in my life as well. And that is the idea that black men are taught that if a woman gets pregnant, they need to bounce as quick as possible. But on the other side of the coin, you have black mamas that tell their children, hey, if you meet a woman that has a kid, you need to run away from her because she's loose. So in the end, you have a bunch of single moms out there raising children, boys and girls with a bunch of mama daddy trauma and you wonder where that comes from, okay? I like that the book touched on that. I also like that it talked about how when you have men that see past all of this stereotype and actually become dads to children that they did not father. And I think that's such a beautiful thing. But I also wanted to knock some folks in the head with a mentality that you don't raise your kid, that you run away from responsibilities. As someone that grew up with a single mom, I can relate to that. Which leads me to the whole discourse in this book about the emphasis placed on having a baby to solidify a marriage and a family unit, okay? As someone that does not have a kid, I don't think that a relationship is lacking and is any less validated if you don't have a kid versus people that do have them. I think putting that pressure, families do that quite a lot, especially once you get married. When putting that pressure on relationships, I think is very unfair and detrimental. I'm just saying. Anyway, tons of different topics in this book. I really did appreciate the depth that Tayara Jones did in exploring each of those. I thought that this book didn't go overboard in discussing many of those topics. Some of them, it just kind of did a little hint to put it in there and then bounce right off of it. But food for thought in each and every one of them. Now, lastly, I wanted to tell you some quotes that I saw in this book that just really resonated with me that I thought were really awesome, right? So at one point in the book, Roy is dating this girl, pre-celestial, okay, right? And they're at this dinner in Atlanta. Now, Roy, you know, he's a little spitfire, we'll say that, right? And the girl pulls a gun on him at dinner because she thinks that he's cheating on her, right? And he says only an Atlanta girl could be so hood and and classy at the same time and he said that he didn't know whether or not he should run or propose to her so I thought that was really funny because men like a little a little edge to him for sure I also liked that it touched on the peppermint pickle um, for those of you that know then you know it's a southern thing delicious try it out okay I also liked that when Celestial and Roy got into arguments, they had a safe word. I think that's an awesome, amazing thing. I think that would keep relationships from having so much toxicity if you can agree to take that time out. Take 15 minutes, okay? But somebody has to be the first person to say, hey, let's calm out, okay? I think I'm going to enact that in my relationship. Lastly, let me tell you my favorite quote in the entire book, right? So Roy is being intimate, right, with this woman. And he goes, she moved under, over, and maybe even through me. You don't know what you need until someone gives it to you the way it needs to be given. Oh, y'all. Okay, I'm telling you, see that lyricness in that? Now, it sounds like that is sexual, which it is, but it's just so much more than that. So much heartfelt in that just just makes you just 
makes you shiver a little bit, y'all. I wish somebody could say something like that about me, okay? Anyway, <laughs> let me get out of here. But this book is awesome. I'm going to have to check out some more writing by Tiara Jones, okay? If y'all read this book, let me know what you thought of it. And let me know if there's any books by Tiara Jones that you would recommend I check out, okay? There's that. Okay, anyway, let me get out of here. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you later, okay? Check out this book, too. Bye.